Hello everybody and welcome to another one of those Quick Dwarf Fortress tutorials. Now, we're going to be showing you how to set up a very basic minecart track today in this video. And this video kind of goes with the assumption that you've already made some minecarts. You can make these out of metal or out of wood. For this video, I've made them out of wood just for safety's sake, but you can make them out of almost anything. Uh, now, we're going to be hooking up a minecart to a small stockpile full of blocks, pushing it down this route and down into the bottom. Now, the goal of this is to just kind of show you the very basicest use case for minecarts. We're not going to be going into anything super complicated as this is a basics tutorial. So the first thing we're going to need is a stockpile. So we're going to build that first. We're just going to do the stockpile button. We're going to click drag and make us a block stockpile. Just a generic block stockpile. Bars and blocks. Very simple. Nice and easy. Now it's going to come out of all of these lovely little mason shops here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go into the construction screen. We are going to grab a uh, track construction. And we are... Oh, so let's do that a little bit slower. Let's go into build, constructions, and tracks. Okay? Okay. Then we're going to need a track stop, but we'll continue that in a sec. Now, the way that we did this in old versions of the game is we had to individually click track spots, and it took a long time and was super, super, super tedious. But it's now very, very simple. By simply clicking on constructions and going to track stops, we are going to click on this tile right here, and we're going to kind of run down here just so that they have some space to go in front of it, go down a layer, and then we can just keep going. We can really make it go as far as we want. They are li literally too click minecarts, and I kind of love them. But we're just going to go right down here, keep it nice and simple. We are going to be making this track out of uh, just some nice little dolomite blocks here. It doesn't take too many. And then once it's completed and this stockpile is full, we will continue the video with the next step. Now that they are constructing the minecart track, what we're going to do next is we're going to place our track stops. These are kind of like checkpoints in the track. Now, they are found in the exact same menu under constructions, but track stop. Now, we have several different options here. We have hard stop no, and no break. For the first one up top, we're going to put no breaks. And we're just going to make it out of dolomite. And down at the bottom here, we are going to build a second track stop. Once again, track stop at the end of the track. And this one is going to be hard break and dump. Now, as this is designed as a single direction track route. We can do more complicated things with multiple stops, pick up, drop off. We can run things from here to there. We can do a full loop. We can make it pushed. We can make it kicked. But for this video, we're just going to do a single track stop with a kick. So what they're going to do is they're going to start it at the top. When we're done, they're going to start it at the top. They're going to kick it. They're going to push it to the bottom, and it's going to dump out. Now, keep in mind, if there's tight corners in this, and it does get a lot of speed going, it could fly off the track. So if you are going to make a really fast minecart track that goes down a lot of levels, don't mind the skull and crossbones up there. It's just a ghost. Uh, if you if you do make a really fast minecart track, they can go flying off and cause some collateral damage. So I do recommend making your first minecart rails with wood. Uh, wooden minecarts, because wooden minecarts are the least likely to do a shit ton of collateral damage to your dwarves if and when something absolutely horrendous happens. So, we are going to jump up here, and we are going to close this tutorial because that's not needed, and we're going to close this old route for the old track that is now decommissioned, and we are going to add a stop. Now, you can make minecarts, if I haven't mentioned it before, at carpenter shops and metalworking shops. So you can either make metal ones or carpenters. We're going to add the first stop to the track by clicking this button here and then clicking on the stop. And we're not going to add this second one because it's just going to slide down and go thunk. We don't need it to do anything when it hits the second one. And when it goes to the second one, it's going to hit the end of the track. The dwarves are going to pick it up and bring it back to the start. We are going to link it to this stockpile right here by clicking the stockpile button, the second one in the middle, and clicking the stockpile. Now, this one sets it so that um, they will give items. So they'll take it out of this stock, out of this minecart and put it into that stockpile. This is the give and take. These are the much more complicated options. We just want them to load this minecart from this stockpile and then kick it. That's all that we want. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click set items to minecart. As you can see, it has to be linked to a stockpile. So we're going to back out of this menu and open up this one. And we're just going to simply say block, bars and blocks, all bars and blocks, all bars and blocks. Nice and simple. Just like the stock menu screen, you've seen this screen before probably, so you probably have an idea of what you're doing. Then you're going to click on the minecart button, and you're going to click on the sand pair of wood minecart or whatever material minecart you have. Now we get to go into the fun stuff. We now have conditions. So um, we can push, we can kick, and we can ride. Uh, ride is a little exciting if you want to launch a dwarf into space. Very good if you want to throw a dwarf into lava, but uh, we're just going to set it to kick uh, for the sake of this video. We're going to kick them south, and we're going to set these all the same way. So they're going to kick it south, kick it south, or kick it south. When it's 100% full, they'll kick it south. When it's 50% full, they'll kick it south. And when it's 0% full after 28 days, they will kick it south. We'll set that down to 75 just for the sake of this video for speed. 
Now we are going to unpause it. They're going to bring the minecart and then fill the minecart and then kick it. And you can see it filling over there on the left. So now we just simply wait. You know, I'll be honest, this series has been a whole lot of fun to put together, and it's been absolutely incredible witnessing everybody's responses to it. The response on the streams has been phenomenal, and the response on the videos has also been great. There's been some good feedback as well, and also a lot of suggestions. So I will be continuing to work on these videos over time, and they will be coming out as frequently as possible. Once the minecart is on the track, and the dwarves are loading, we'll continue the video. So now, as you can see, we have a dwarf over here who is beginning to load the minecart. It's up to 6% full now, which is not a bad start. You've got some kids coming over to help as well. It's going to be a little bit of a process. The bigger the stockpile, the better, obviously. This is a very effective way of also clearing out a stockpile and quickly moving stuff from one place to another if you have one particular store in one place and you want to move them somewhere else. I've used this met method before to transport stuff quickly, but generally what I end up using it for is just goofing off and making little roller coasters and stuff. I do need to use minecarts more now that they're significantly less tedious to put together. We're getting full, we're getting close to being full, and they're gonna come down and kick it pretty soon. Also, don't worry about the minecarts orientation. You can't rotate things in Dwarf Fortress, so it doesn't actually matter which way the minecart is facing. Granted, if they go from left to right or right to left, they do look a lot better, but it doesn't actually matter in this instance. We're up to nice percent full, 70% full, 71, 72, 74, 75, and someone should come and kick it any moment now, because we are above the full, yep, there it goes. See? All the way down to the bottom. Perfect. So now the dwarves are going to go load this stockpile back up because that's the only place for them to go. And they're going to bring the stuff back up. Some baby was just born. And uh, so now if we pause the game, you can see the whole pile of blocks up there. As you can see, that's a lot more blocks than one dwarf could carry in one instance. And they're going to do this again. And it's going to start this kind of messy mega loop, which is just going to keep happening on repeat. Now, of course, we could like set it to load into a different one down here, or dump them straight into a stockpile so that they're already in the stockpile, and then they'll load it from the new stockpile into a different thing and push it somewhere else. Of course, we could also go into the settings here and set it so that instead of them kicking it, they push they push it, which I think I can do here correctly. We'll see. It should work. It's getting up to 71%, 72, 74, 76. Dwarf should come and push it. See in a second. A few more seconds, and there it goes. See? All the way down to the bottom. Exactly same effect. So, thank you very much for watching this video on a very basic minecart rail. Start messing around with minecarts and see what you can come up with. They're very exciting and can cause some absolute chaos, especially if you're kicking them down really far distances over very, very, very uh, vast distances of space. Um, if you slam them into fortifications, by the way, you can make some pretty effective cannons. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.